Well, there's a growing trend that's great for people with limited mobility, poor soil, or little garden space. It's called straw bale gardening. Bobby and Belinda show how it's done in this week's Grow With Care. It doesn't matter what your soil is at all because you're not using the soil. All of your root growth stays in that bale. Yes, he said bale, straw bales. Maybe you've heard of it. Joel Karsten is the pioneer of straw bale gardening, and we visited his garden earlier this spring to find out what all the buzz is about. With a degree in horticulture, he thought, why not grow things in a bale of straw? And the results are just amazing. As the straw bale is decomposing during the season, you are creating brand new soil, and by the way, a ton of beneficial heat. As soon as you start the con what I call the conditioning or the early composting process, the bales start to warm up. And you can see if we stick a, stick a temperature probe inside of these bales, you can see they're about 15, 20 degrees warmer than air temperature on a typical day. And there's some great advantages. It's up off the ground, so if you're at all handicapped in any way, back problems, knee problems, leg problems, and you can't get down on the ground and do that heavy work that's involved with gardening, this makes it real easy. There's no weeding. Yes, he said no weeding. Straw bales are naturally sterile with few weed seeds, and you also can't overwater them. Because if you put too much water on top, gravity just carries it through the bale and out the bottom. So it's literally impossible to ever have a flood in a vegetable garden if you're in straw bales. And it's catching on. Joel has over 16,000 people following his straw bale Facebook page from all around the world. So what does harvest time look like? The peas and beans you'll see climb all the way to the top of the trellises the espalier wires as they're called, and as do the tomatoes, and cucumbers. You'll never find a better way to grow cucumbers. They crawl up on the vine and they hang there so nice, so there's no soil residue or mildew or mold that builds up on the cucumbers. They're really easy to pick. Last year, out of one bale of green beans, we got 30, 35 or 36 quarts of green beans off of one bale, so it's very productive. Wow, Joel Carson recently wrote a book about straw bale gardening. You can learn more about the book and the technique at carelovin.com. Just click on gardening.